I know some crocheters out there would like to start making doilies, but somehow they are intimidated by crochet cotton thread. And indeed, it is much harder working with thread and a small size steel hook than working with yarn and a bigger size hook. So today's video tutorial, for those of you who are not quite ready to jump to making delicate lace doilies, but would definitely want to move towards that direction and learn that skill. Today I invite you to make a very simple doily with me using cotton thread size 3 and not cotton thread size 10, which is usually used for making those delicate lacy doilies. Cotton thread size 3 is easier to work with than size 10 and with this thread we can actually use a larger size hook. In fact, I will be using my usual aluminum hook in size D 3.25 millimeters. So this is going to be a very easy beginner's project. There are 14 rounds in the pattern and the doily will come out about 14 inches across. So this is going to be a medium sized doily. I will use Aunt Lydia's crochet cotton thread size 3, one ball, which is about 140 yards. The written pattern for this doily is available on my blog lacycrochet.blogspot.com and I will post the link in the description box below. I will also post my affiliate link with Michael's craft stores where you can buy this thread online and if you do so through my link I will get a small commission and I will greatly appreciate that support from you. Okay, let's start working on this project. I start with 10 chains. One, two, three, four. Here I have 10 chains and now I'm going to join them into a ring with a slip stitch. And here I have my ring. I'm ready to start my first round. I make three chains. One, two, three. These three chains will count as my first double crochet. Now I'm going to work into the ring and I will make 23 double crochets. One, two, Three. I made 23 double crochets and now with these three stitches the total is 24 double crochets. And now I'm going to join this round with a slip stitch into the third chain of my beginning three chains. One, two, three. Over here on the top I join the round with a slip stitch. I start the next round with six chains. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now three of these chains will count as my first double crochet and then three chains will count as chain three space. Next I'm going to skip the next double crochet and into the next double crochet I make a double crochet. Now I make three chains. One, two, three, I skip the next double crochet and I make a double crochet into the next double crochet. And I'm going to continue this way all the way around. And at the end of the round I will join with a slip stitch into the third chain of my beginning chain 6. One, two, three. So over here. And my second round is now finished. Round 3. I make a slip stitch into the next chain 3 space. Then I make 3 chains. 1, 2, 3. These 3 chains will count as my first double crochet. And now I make 3 double crochets into the same chain 3 space. 1, 2, Three. Next one chain and into the next chain three space I will work four double crochets. One, two, three, 
two, three, four. Now again, one chain, and next I will work four double crochets over here. And I continue crocheting this way all the way around. Here I am at the end of this round. Now I'm supposed to make one chain and join. However, I'm going to join differently. Instead of making one chain the way I did over here, I'm going to join into the third chain of this beginning chain three with half double crochet like this. And this brings my hook and thread into the position for the next round. So I'm exactly in the middle between these groups of double crochets and not over here. For round four, I make one chain and then I make a single crochet into this space. Then five chains. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to make a single crochet into the next chain one space over here. Now again, five chains. One, two, three, four, five. And a single crochet into the next chain one space. And I will continue crocheting this way all the way around. And at the end of this round, I join with a slip stitch to the very first single crochet. I start round 5 with a slip stitch into the next chain 5 space. Now I make 2 chains, 1, 2, and now into the same space I work 2 double crochets, finish together, 1, 2. And together with these 2 chains, this stitch is going to count as my first 3 double crochets finished together. Next 3 chains, 1, 2. Three, and into the same chain 5 space I work another 3 double crochet cluster 2 3 next 3 chains 1, 2, 3 and into the next space I work 3 double crochets finished together then three chains one two three and another three double crochets finish together and i will continue crocheting this way all the way around here i am at the end of this round i need to make three chains and join but instead i'm going to make one chain and I'm going to join in top of this cluster with a double crochet. So in top of that stitch, I make a double crochet. And this stitch that I've got over here, one chain and one double crochet, together they will count as my chain three space, like all the chain three spaces over here. And this way, my hook and my thread are in position for the next round. I started round six with one chain and now into the same space I make a single crochet. Next three chains, one, two, three, and I make a single crochet into the next chain three space. Again, three chains, one, two, three, and a single crochet into the next space. And I will continue crocheting this way all the way around and I join this round with a slip stitch to the very first single crochet like this. I make a slip stitch into the next chain 3 space then I make 3 chains 1, 2, 3 they count as my first double crochet next I make 3 double crochets into this same space 1, 2, Three. So in total this counts as four double crochets. Then I make three chains. One, two, three. And now I continue working into the same space. I make four double crochets. One, two, 
three, four. And this is gonna count as my beginning shell. Now I will skip the next chain through space and I will be working into the next space. And I will work a shell, which is four double crochets. One, two, three, four, then three chains, one, two, three, and four more double crochets, one, two, three, four. So my second shell is now made and I will continue crocheting this way. I'm going to skip one chain space and I will work a shell into the next chain space. And now I join this round with a slip stitch into the third chain of the beginning chain three. So now I have seven rounds complete. To start my round eight, I need to slip stitch to this chain space. So I make a slip stitch into the first double crochet, then into the second, into the third, and now into the chain space. And I'm going to work a shell above the shell of the previous round. So the beginning shell is the same as I made it over here. So three chains, then three double crochets, one, two, three, and these count as four double crochets because of the starting chain three. Now three chains, one, two, three, and into the same space, four double crochets. One, two, three, Four. Here is my beginning shell. Now I make two chains. One, two, and now I will work a shell on top of this shell of the previous round. So into the chain space I make four double crochets. One, two, three, four, then three chains, then four more double crochets. One, two, three, four. Now again, two chains, one, two, and I will work a shell over the next shell. And I will work this way until the end of this round. And now I join this round with a slip stitch into the third chain of the beginning chain three. Let's start round nine. And this round is gonna be the same as the previous round, except over here in between two shells, I will make three chains and not two the way I did before. So first I slip stitch to the next chain space. Then I make my beginning shell. And now I make three chains, one, two, Three, and I work a shell over the next shell and I will continue crocheting this way I will make three chains and shell three chains and shell all the way around and at the end of this round I join the way I did before and this is what my work looks like so far I start round 10 the way I did before with the beginning shell so first I slip stitch to the chain space and now I make the beginning shell. Next I make three chains, one, two, three, and into the second chain of this chain three, one, two, the second one, I make a double crochet. Now again I make three chains, one, two, three, and I'm going to work a shell over the next shell. So now I make three chains again, one, two, three, 
and into the second chain of the next chain three I make a double crochet now again three chains one two three and I will work a shell over the next shell and I will continue crocheting this way all the way around and at the end of the round I join with a slip stitch I start round 11 with the beginning shell then I make three chains one two three and into the next double crochet over here I make a double crochet two chains and into the same double crochet I make another double crochet then again three chains one two three and I work a shell over the next shell and now again three chains one two three and into the next double crochet I make a double crochet two chains and a double crochet now again three chains and I will make a shell over the next shell and I continue crocheting this way all the way around and at the end of the round I join with a slip stitch the way I did before my round 12 I start with a shell and now I'm going to make two chains one two now look over here I have this chain two space in between two double crochets and this is where I'm going to work and into that space I make a shell one two three four then three chains and four more double crochets one two three four now again I make two chains one two and I will work a shell over the next shell now again two chains one two and a shell into the next chain to space in between two double crochets and I will continue crocheting this way all the way until the end of this round and at the end of the round I join with a slip stitch just the way I did before for my round 13 all I need to do is to make a round of shells separated by three chains so over here I already made the beginning shell then I make three chains one two three and now I will work a shell over the next shell and that's pretty much it a shell chain three shell chain three all the way around here I join the round and I'm ready to start working on my last round round 14 so first I slip stitch to the center of the shell next three chains and three double crochets into the chain space next I make three chains one two three and now I'm going to make a slip stitch into the third chain from the hook one two three and here I have a pico made so now I finish this shell I make four double crochets into the chain three space So over here I have a shell with a pico. Next I make five chains. One, two, three, four, five. And into the third chain from the hook, one, two, three, I make a slip stitch. And now a pico is made. Next I make three chains. One, two, three. And I'm going to work a shell over the next shell but I will make my shell with a pico just the way I did over here so first four double crochets one two three four then three chains and a slip stitch into the third chain 
then four double crochets one two three four and now again I will make five chains then a slip stitch into the third chain then three chains and then a shell again and I will continue this way all the way around and at the end I join with a slip stitch and my doily is finished